Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hey, yo, Nicole. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe right now. Right now, somewhere here. Right here. Now, if you didn't already know, the Olympics is broadcasting right now, ever since last week. And my god, my god, I love watching the Olympics. I enjoy watching the Olympics, yo. I've never did before, but I do right now. I have to say, this is probably the most that I've ever watched sports than I've ever done before. Probably the last time I've ever been obsessed with sports was with the Lakers. And that was back in 2000s when Shaquille O'Neal was still in the team. So I love watching the Olympics. It's so... I'm, sh I'm just so pumped up like... USA! 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 I even tried out for the Olympics. Did you know that? You can't even walk the stairs without catching a breath. Bro, how did you try out for the Olympics? That's not true. <sighs> Okay, that is damning evidence. But if I did were to try out for the Olympics. <laughs> Got it. It's really sad because that actually happened in PE before because I did not know how to play volleyball and therefore lost the volleyball PE tournament. No, no, but I really do enjoy watching the Olympics. It's so fun to watch, like, especially when the teams aren't even your country at all. The other day I was watching um, Spain versus Brazil and oh my god, that last two points made by the Br Brazilians were like, it was crazy, but no, I do enjoy watching like beach volleyball. I really love volleyball for some reason, but I hate playing it. But I like watching it, but I hate playing it. Anyways, so yeah, that's all I've been doing. So because the Olympics are live right now, there's so many news. There's so many information about like the athletes and like etc etc right so f on facebook yesterday i was re I, I saw on the side where it's like trending facebook news or whatever and it said one of the gymnasts i think simone simone biles like she's a gymnast on the u.s Amer american team and like she said in an interview where she where she said that she has a crush on who is it zach efron yeah and zach efron tweeted her back that is amazing. If only that happened in real life. I love Nathan Adrian. He is such a cutie pie. Oh my gosh, he is my ultimate crush, my ultimate Olympian crush. Like that hot bod, that hot bod, like that hot bod, that hot bod. Yeah, so there's that. And you know, like when I watch the Olympics, I'm, I always feel like, shh, let's not forget that. They are crazy talented and like they are awesome athletes. They work hard at what they do. But when you think about it, it's like, okay, what have I done with my life? There's 19 year old Katie Ledecky, like, God bless her. I love her so much. She's my fave. But she's only 19 years old. She has three medals already. What do I have? The other day, I was reading up on uh, Maya Dorado. I was reading up on Maya Dorado, the other U.S. women Olympic swimmer, and oh my god, she's like, this is just on her wiki page, alright? Oh my god, I didn't even read that last night. Okay, so she's a year younger than me, and she went to Stanford University, and she graduated with a degree in management, science, and engineering. Holy shiz! And she's competing in her first Olympics right now. And she's married. Like, holy sh girl, you got your life together. And by the time she gets back here at in the USA, she already has a job waiting for her as a business analysis. She's going to be making bank. Oh my god, dude. And I come back to myself. What have I accomplished in my life, yo? Like, no, seriously, hats off to these athletes. They are crazy talented. They they d deserve all these achievements. But if you really think about it, it just kind of makes you feel like, okay, what have I? Like, doesn't it inspire you or motivate you? Like, okay, if they can do it, if they can get 
onto the Olympics and win medals, then I could do something too, you know? I could do something too. That's why the next Olympics, the next Summer Olympics, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna be in the Summer Olympics in Tokyo. I'm gonna make it my goal that I'm gonna be at the Summer Olympics in Tokyo, Japan. I'm gonna be vlogging over there. Hell yes! Okay, that's, I don't know. How the heck would I do that? I mean, I would have to save up so much money. I'm already paying for my loans. Please sponsor me, Olympics! The Olympics make kind of inspires me to like, I don't know, to do something. Sitting on our asses, not doing anything. I mean, guys, we're capable of doing something. Nicole, you're capable of doing something, okay? So by the next Olympics, please go to Tokyo and watch the Olympics. That girl, Maya Dorado, that was her first Olympics. This is her first Olympics and like, she's there competing. It just came up to her. The opportunity just came up to her. I don't know, man. Like, I'm going through an existential crisis right now. Where I'm trying to get at is like, we're all good at something. And if you're not, just keep practicing and you will get there. Same time, like, don't give up. Like, there's a lot of opportunities that will come your way. And do what you love and love what you do and be the best that you can be. And if you have dreams, go do it. Go do it. I have a dream of becoming a 1 million subscriber YouTuber. Like a big name YouTuber that I've, <laughs> I've always had for a really long time. Like 10, 8 years ago. If you're, if you're just sitting on your ass not doing anything and just keep dreaming, you're not going to get anything accomplished. Go for it. Strive for it. Run towards it! Chase your dreams, y'all. Go chase your dreams. If you haven't yet, give this a thumbs up. Comment down below if you like my content. If you genuinely like my content, please subscribe. You are, you are watching the next 1 million subscriber YouTuber. I have to graduate college soon, so I might be on a hiatus. So this is nowhere near like I'm quitting YouTube kind of thing. No. Hell no, I'm not doing that.